Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to find the implied utilizations and the bottleneck of any type of firm. So Whale and LTD is a small manufacturing firm. Whale manufactures three types of shoes, categorized below. Average monthly demand is provided. For joggers, the demand is 150 cases a month. For loafers, it's 20 cases a month. For sandals, it's 75 cases per month. Employees work eight hours a day for 20 days a month. And you see the flow units are provided here. Station one has two employees. Station two has one employee. Station three has two employees. So what are the implied utilizations of this? Now to solve this, first we have to find how many minutes a month they are working. So you do eight hours times 20 days a month, and you get 160. Then do 160 times 60 to get the minutes, and you get 9,600 minutes. And then since the station has two employees, you can times that by two. So 9,600 times two equals 19,000 200 minutes. Now you can do the same thing for stations two and three. Since station two only has one employee, you take the original, which is 9,600 minutes. And since station three also has two employees, you take the same as the first one, which is 19,200 minutes. Now next, you need to find out the total flow units with the uh, amount of demand for the month. So since there's 10 cases a month being demanded here, you times that by how many cases per month? So you do 10 times 150 for everyone in this column, times it by 150, there's nothing there. So 10 times 150, this column has 1,500 minutes. This column has 15,000 minutes. And you do the same thing across the board. So for this one, it'd be 20 cases for WW. So you times it by 20, you get 1,000. You times this by 20, and you get 12,000. Do the same thing here, but for 75. So you times this by 75, you times this by 75, and you get 1,500 here, and 37,500 here. Okay, so now you have to find the total for each station. So for station one, the total is you add 1,500, 1,000, and 1,500, and you get 4,000 minutes. For station two, you add 15,000 and 12,000, and you get 27,000 minutes. For station three, you add just 37,500. Now for the implied utilizations, you would do 4,000 minutes, you take your total, and you divide it by the available capacity, which is 19,200 minutes. And then you do the same, well first you find this is 20, 0.8% utilized. Then for the next one, you do 27,000 divided by, since there's only one employee, 9,600, and you get 281.25 percent. And now for station three, you just have one. So it's 37,500 divided by the two employees. So 19, 200, and then you will get 195.31% utilization. So these are your implied utilizations for station one, two, and three for Whalen up to date. Now, 
found this. To find the bottleneck of the stations is easy. All you do is you look at your implied utilizations and whatever station uses the, has the highest implied utilization is your bottleneck. In this case, since 281.25% is the highest, your bottleneck is station two. And that is how you find the implied utilizations and the bottleneck of any corporation or company.